today is Wednesday. It's, what is it? It is September the 25th. I knew that. I just want to make sure you knew that. <laughs> yep. All right. September 25th, all day long, and this is uh, Wednesday, and it, it's the only Wednesday this week. Wow. How smart you are, Wayne well, Alley. Well, <laughs> I read the calendar once upon a time. Did so, you? Uh, I, well, I stopped about halfway through. I'm waiting for the movie. Anyway, uh, hello there. My name is Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best, and this is WGTV, Wayne Goldsboro Television. And glad so, to have you. Yes, glad you are with us this morning. And by the way, we're on Channel 10 and on Channel 99, just in case you're counting. Uh, Channel 99 is a list of, uh, of, of county uh, sites, and uh, if you are, uh, happen to be watching or you hear about it on uh, another channel, uh, we're on Channel 99. You just simply have to scroll down and find Wayne County. And That's WGTV right. WGTV Today is on right now. Thank you for being with us. That's right. And on today's show, we talk with Eddie Pitzer from Wayne Regional Agricultural Fair. That's exactly right. You know, the fair starts tomorrow. That's Woo! right. Big day in All our right. community. Yeah. Looking Arts Council of Wayne County, Sarah Merritt, always the great sport, comes on and gives us some updates and she could talk all day long about all the great things happening over at the Arts Council. And not use the same word twice. That's exactly right. <laughs> we also have a reader who is reading stories from Wayne County Public Library. And you know, this is a That's lot a of fun. That's a fun little segment. Yes, it is a fun little segment. Uh, children enjoy it. I enjoy it. Uh, yeah. They read children's books here and I think you'll enjoy it too. That's right. right. Have you got any birthdays today, oh, Mr. Yeah, Alley? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. I did. I do. I do have a birthday or two. All right. One of my favorite entertainers, Will Smith. Oh, mine too. Will Smith is having a birthday today. I didn't see him in uh, Men in Black and all that stuff. You I didn't? Just, I didn't see Men he in Black. He was fantastic. I'm, that's what I hear. And Wild yep. Wild West, Robert Conrad will always be my James West. Okay. All right? Okay. All right. But I, I, nothing against <laughs> Will Smith. He's a very talented actor, and I like him a lot especially even before he became Fresh Prince. I liked his rap music. I okay. did. You know, and don't repeat that to anybody. I, will not. I wouldn't want That's anyone to know that I like anything about rap music. That's right. But I like him, yeah. Uh, let's see, he's, uh, he has won uh, four Grammy Awards. Newsweek called him the most powerful actor in Hollywood in 07, yeah, which was probably I can true. Believe it. And how old is he turning? He's 44 today. Okay. Yeah. Mark Hamill immortalized as Luke Skywalker in the movie, the original Star Wars trilogy. Yes. Uh, receiving a, a Drama Desk Award nomination for his work in The Elephant Man. The Elephant huh. Man. How about that? Okay. I didn't realize he was even in that movie, but mm -hmm. he's 61 years today. Mark Hamill is. Barbara Walters, uh, a.k.a. Baba Wawa, is 83 <laughs> years today. Wow. She's retiring from The View. That's what I've heard. They've got a lot of changes yeah. on that show this year. Yeah, 83. Can you believe that? Anyway, Heather Locklear having a birthday. Uh, that lovely lady, 51 years today. Uh, birthday today for Cheryl Teagues. She is 65. Wow. She looks about 30, you know. She does. She's uh, 65 years today. Anson Williams. Mm -hmm. Pot Potsy That's right. on Happy Days is 63 today. Boy, that was a good show, wasn't it? it Years it ago. Really Boy, was I, a good when I was show. a child, I watched yeah. that every day. Yeah, it wouldn't make it now. No, it wouldn't be no, popular no, no. now, but at the time it was on, it was very timely and it was a good, mm -hmm. good popular program. Uh, birthday today for two uh, who until recently were married. They were man and wife, born uh, or sharing the same birthday. She is 43 today. That's Catherine Zeta Jones. Ah. Oh. Wow. 43, and uh, her uh, soon-to-be ex, uh, Michael Douglas, is a cool 68 today, having some health problems recently. Uh, but uh, he's 68, she's 43 today. 25 years difference. Happy birthday. Wow. Oh, yeah. She's a very pretty lady. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, All she right. is. All right, what you got? want to remind everybody, this Saturday, Humane Society is having their bark in the burrow. Whoop. It's a fundraiser for the Humane Society. Of course, it'll be out at Waynesboro Park from 9 until 4. $20 per ticket. Bring some dog or cat food to give back to the Humane Society. They'll have vendors out there, free food, lots of fun things going on. Bring your animals, walk around the park, and enjoy other animal owners and lovers, and chat and have a... Animal lovers and owners? <laughs> and have a good time with, with folks from our community. And it's all for a great cause for the yes. Humane Society. Yes. <laughs> Okay, switch feet. 
Switch foot. A switch foot is coming to <laughs> Mount Olive College tonight. It starts That's at 7 right. o'clock. That's tonight. If you don't have your tickets, it may be too late. It's it a very may popular be. group, although I have no idea who they are. Me either. So, <laughs> anyway, anyway. All the youngsters seem to. They seem to, and it's tonight and begins at 7 o'clock in the uh, Carnegie Arena there at Mount Olive College. Big That's things tonight. happening in Mount Olive. Oh, boy. I'm That's telling you. right. You know, I was in uh, Seven Springs one day last week, uh -huh. and uh, I just... You talk mentioning Mount Olive and, yes. and that area uh, of which uh, Seven Springs is, is very close mm -hmm. to. But I I just really enjoy the town of Seven Springs. That is it's a, a nice, nice, quaint little town. Quiet, isn't it? quaint. The I got a couple of restaurants there that are really really good. Uh, just and uh, I went down to see Stephen Potter and uh, oh yeah, Stephen's friend. He's a good guy. Yeah, he is a very good guy, and they just. The people of Seven Springs are really nice, and they've done so much to the town since the flood back in '99. Right. But uh, but the, they've got the trading post there. They do. That's really a nice place. Uh, uh, the uh, of course the boat ramp there for the river. Of course the mm -hmm. river is right there. Oh I yeah. Mean, yeah. Wow. I love riding down that main street and looking up at the pretty churches up on that really yes. tall hill. Yes. I mean it's really a, a picturesque little area. A movie could be filmed there. It truly could. Mm -hmm. And anyone who knows anything at all about the history of Wayne County knows that Seven Springs is the oldest town. That's right. Founded as Whitehall. And of course there were a couple of major battles there, especially back during the Civil War. That's right. A lot of history. Lots of history there. We'll talk more about uh, Seven Springs in the near future. Okay? That's right. All right. I believe now, it's time to go to our interviews. It is. So stay tuned. <laughs> The fair's coming, the fair's coming, oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> hey, the Wayne Regional Agricultural Fair is coming again. It is September, and soon fall is in the air. Sounds like a song. Fall is in the air, and here we go with the Wayne Thanks. Regional Agricultural Fair. My buddy Eddie Pitzer, the manager of the fair, is with us. Good morning. Good morning, Wayne. Man, Glad to doing? be here. Great to have you with us, yes, Eddie sir. Pitzer, man. This is your first year as manager, as manager. of the fair. That's but you right. have been with the Wayne Regional Fair for well, many years. Well, been with the fair for 22 years as 20? secretary treasurer. So, so I kind of know. 22 years. 22 years. That's, yeah, that's correct. Quite a while. Yeah, it does seem almost like a career, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I know, but gee, if you weren't having so much fun, it might be. Uh, you know, it's always great when the fair comes. It's a lot of fun. A lot I of people get involved with it. So. And you know, over the past year or so, there have been some changes, some improvements, some uh, some things that have changed out there at the yep. fairgrounds. Tell us what's what's different this year. Well, uh, this year we've done a little work. You know, last year we put all the finished up the asphalt, which was a great improvement. Wow! Yeah, Man, we more I'm compliments on that. Uh, it's really made it nice for people to get around. Yeah, especially people who have ambulatory problems, people yeah. in wheelchairs or people who have problems moving around. Yeah. Well, just those of us that don't enjoy the dust that, either. Well, that's you know, right. Nice, and cleaner, has, and drier. It, it has. It's it, done a tremendous job keeping sure, the dust down. Sure there. has. This year we did some things interior. We started working on our exhibit halls. So we've changed our adult exhibit hall and actually created a youth barn for oh. our youth exhibitor. So oh, yeah. uh, really looking to have some good participation in getting those prepared and getting those ready. A lot of excitement in the air with, through with our ECA ladies coming out and helping yes. to decorate. So, oh, yeah. yeah. We have made one change, though, Wayne, probably ought to talk about it, and that is in our uh, entry of our exhibit halls. The times have changed. We'll be taking entries in on Wednesday afternoon, September 25th, okay. from 3 to 8. And then we'll be taking them in Thursday morning, which is actually the fair opens on Thursday afternoon. But Thursday morning, we'll take them in from 8 to 10. And then judging will start around 11. And hopefully the exhibits will all be put in place and the fair will open at 4 o'clock on Thursday the 26th. Okay, now that's important. Those, mm -hmm. And the fair opens on the 26th. That's right. Now those times again, if for people who want to... The people that would like to bring something out and enter it into the fair, mm -hmm. it will start on Wednesday, September 25th. We'll start at 3 o'clock in the afternoon till 8 p.m. that evening. And then we'll start back on Thursday morning, the 26th, at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. till 10 a.m. And that is a change because normally we've been going from 8 to noon. Mm -hmm. So we've cut it back two hours on Thursday 
extended the hours on Wednesday but cut the hours back on Thursday. Okay. So it gives us more time for the judging and being able to prepare the exhibits. And the judging is done right away. It's done Ju as it's as that's, the fair's opening. That's about. right. The judging is pretty much after we finish taking in exhibits, the judging is done and then it's arranged and set up right. into the exhibits. That's and then correct. the ribbons are awarded, that's prizes right. awarded. Yeah, and, and then some, somebody's going to have to write, start writing some checks. Uh oh, I wonder <laughs> who that is. <laughs> Look, I have never entered anything in a fair. Uh -huh. uh, never had anything that I thought was uh, uh, worthy of entering a fair. Uh -huh. But anybody can, is that right? Anybody can enter Anybody. Anything? You can go to our website, waynefair.com. Yeah. Our catalog is on there. Right. Look at all the different categories that we have to where you can enter it. It's surprising. There's, a, there's something for everybody. Something for everybody mm -hmm. at the fair. Mm -hmm. And anything, you can, if, if, you're, if, you, if you bake pies, mm -hmm. First of all, I'm a great pie te tester. <laughs> Just want to let you know that. But uh, and cakes and 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 anyway. In, yeah, here we are getting off the subject. Yeah, but we're, anybody, well, we're talking about food. You know, know. That, it doesn't take long. <laughs> it doesn't take long. No. Does it? <laughs> but but anybody can enter uh, whatever you like. And like you say, go to yep. the, go to the fair catalog, which is online. Yes, WayneFair.com, or you can come by our office and pick up a catalog. Or uh, we have some catalogs also at the extension office that they can go by and pick up. And if you happen to be here in the courthouse, there's one in the county manager's office when he's not reading it. So, oh, yeah, that's there's good. There's one right over in his yeah. office over there. Yeah. But uh, the fair's been going a number of years, and uh, Milton Ingram did a, an amazing job, and, and you've done an amazing job uh, filling his shoes. And, like uh, and, mm -hmm. and, but I know Milton's going to be out there. Oh, yeah. You know he was. Yeah. <laughs> but he's retired, but, you, but uh, he, he worked at it for so many years, that, uh, and he'll yeah. be missed. Yeah. But uh, looking forward to your handling the reins of the fair as well. Well, but you know, Wayne, there's a lot of people that are involved in putting that fair together. It takes people from all over the county, and, and a lot of people put in a lot of work in it to get prepared for it. And it's not something, when you look at just like uh, some of the people that run the concession stands out there, the Marmac and the Oakland and the mm -hmm. Grantham Grange and all those oh, yeah. involved, they start way ahead getting prepared for it, getting uh, all of their labor lined up, getting cleaned up. So it, it takes some time and effort. So, but it is a community activity. Yes, indeed it is. And you know, you mentioned the staff out there. You, you were out there for 22 years, but mm -hmm. you've had people out there, Edith Blanton, oh, yes. for so long. Edith yeah. does such a wonderful job. That sure is. And, and the staff, the crew, uh, gee whiz, I, I'm not going to start naming names, but yeah. man, you have got some tremendous people out there. Yeah, yeah. and you know, a lot of them come back year after year. Every year. Year yeah, after they year, and, and yeah. they enjoy it. It's, it's, uh, yeah. We love a fair. Uh, indeed, indeed, uh -huh. we do love a fair, and it starts on September 26th. Yeah. Now uh, there was some uh, question. Of what was it about the demolition? Do you want to talk about that? Not a problem. We okay. we have made some changes <laughs> with this year. That demolition derby is something that has been a great uh, event for us over the years. Yeah. Uh, we have changed that up a little bit. We decided this year that we were going to reevaluate that a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and so we decided not to have a derby this year. We're going to be looking at some rule changes that we'll be making in it. We really want to open that event up for more contestants to come in there and be a part of it. So next year we'll probably have the derby back. It'll have some new rules. Hopefully we may even look into having some four-cylinder classes and even oh. maybe a minivan class in oh. there. So uh, mix it up a little bit, but we're looking for a bigger and better show next year. All right. Well, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you just kind of have to step back and reevaluate. And reevaluate. That's right. right. Yeah. But we got a lot of great things coming this year. Powers, uh, Great American Midways is coming back. Aren't they great? Forty-eight rides, family-owned operation. It offers uh, I mean, everything from the the kitty rides all the way to the great spectaculars in there. I'm constantly impressed with the Powers. They that's are. A, that's a family operation. Right here in North Carolina. And right here in North Carolina. That's They're exactly. local. I mean, they started mm -hmm. in Burgaw, I believe, yep, right? Yeah, that's correct. And, mm -hmm. uh, and this is the fair. <clears throat> this is the, uh, the amusement uh, company, mm -hmm. uh, Powell. Carnival. Mm -hmm. Carnival that goes from here on to the state fair. That's correct. That's they correct. go to the state fair. This Ab is a state fair company here. And yep. They start out their season here in Wayne County yep. and then move on. Uh, and... Uh, Man, I tell you, they do a great job. Well, they're one of the best shows that you can get. I and mean, one they're, of the they're safest. One of the safest. They put a lot of emphasis on having a good, strong safety program, drug testing program. I mean, it, they even look after their people that work with them. They have a schoolhouse that travels with them so yeah. that their workers' kids can continue their education. Yeah, they so are. They are. It's just a family-based operation. And on top of all of that, the state of North Carolina inspects everything. And if there's one bolt out of all the rides, that's correct. That are that is not secure. Mm -hmm. 
that ride doesn't 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 pass and it doesn't operate. That's right. The Department of Insurance does a great job looking yes. after safety yeah. and public well-being. So, All right. And when when we want when people come to the fair, we want them to have a good time and to be safe and happy. And to be safe and happy. And I tell yep. you, you've got wash stations out there for people to wash their hands. Yes. You've got uh, the the asphalt. Uh, yep. Yep. It's coming. Uh -huh. And you know what? I rarely see someone who's not smiling. Well, it's all about having fun. That's right. Yeah. So, it's great. And you know, now you can go in, if you're interested in going, we've got advanced tickets on sale at waynefair.com. Okay. You can buy your gate admission as well as your uh, carnival wristbands online at a discount price. Great. So all, all right. you got to do, waynefair.com. So, all right. So there's, there's a, and as always, there's a bit of a discount if you figure it out with the rides. That's right. And uh, get your tickets right now at yep. rangefair.com. It's that simple. It's that simple. I was on this morning at 4 o'clock. Oh, were you? <laughs> yeah, I was. On well, I sure. wasn't on at 4 this you morning. I was, I was doing some sleeping oh, there about 4 a.m. Oh, you were. You were. You were <laughs> yeah, 4 a.m. Yeah, 4 a.m. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I'm an early riser, you know. Yeah. Anyway, Eddie Pitzer, the manager of the Wayne Regional Agricultural Fair, which is yep. owned and operated by the Wayne County Livestock Development Association. That's correct. A wonderful organization. Yep. Yes, Wayne, indeed. we do appreciate you having us in today. Thank you very much there, Eddie. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hey, my name is Stephanie Ash. I'm from the Goldsboro Public Library, and today I will be reading Llama Llama Misses His Mama by Anna Dudney. Llama, llama, warm in bed. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. Llama school begins today. Time to learn and time to play. Make the bed and find some clothes. Brush the teeth and blow the nose. Eat some breakfast and clean the plate. Whoops, oh my, we're running late. Drive to school and park the car. Tell the teacher who you are. Meet new faces, hear new names, see new places and watch new games. Hang the coat and say goodbye. Llama Llama is feeling shy. Mama Llama goes away, but Llama Llama has to stay. Strange new treater and strange new toys. Lots of kinds and lots of noise. What would Llama like to do? Llama Llama feels so new. Build a castle out of blocks? Made a rocket from a box? Llama Llama shakes his head. Llama walks away instead. Here's a little chug -a chew with a captain and a crew. Would the llama like a ride? Llama Llama tries to hide. Reading stories on the rug, kids are cuddled sitting snug. Would the llama like to good look? No, Llama Llama hates that book. Time for lunch, now find a seat. Llama Llama doesn't want to eat. Llama makes a little moan. Llama Llama feels alone. Llama misses Mama so. Why did Mama Llama go? It's too much for little Llama. Llama Llama misses Mama. Don't be sad, new little Llama. It's okay to miss your Mama. But don't forget, when day is through, she will come right back to you. Llama Llama, please don't fuss. Have some fun and play with us. Put on coats and run outside. See the playhouse, try the slide. Tag and jump rope, hide and seek. Close your eyes and do not peek. Now it's time to draw and write. Great big crayons, colors so bright. Take some paper from the stack. Mama Llama, you came back. Teacher gets a goodbye hug. Wave to friends on reading rug. Climb the playhouse with the slide. See if mama fits inside. Lots to show and lots to say. Back again another day. Llama finds out something new. He loves mama and school too. studio today is Sarah Merritt, the Executive Director of the Arts Council of Wayne County. Let's find out what's happening in the arts community. Good morning, Good Sarah. Morning. So I'm excited to hear all about this yes. fall oh my jazz gosh. gumbo we're having. So many great things happening. Um, but what I really wanted to talk today about was jazz gumbo. Um, and 
Uh, just to give a little background, uh, each year, you know, the DGDC hosts the Jazz on George mm -hmm. Festival, and the Arts Council has become a partner in that project. As and with many projects. Yes, and the last, last year we received a $7,000 grant to um, do some programming leading up to Jazz on George and then to cover some of the costs for Jazz on George. Mm -hmm. And then this year we received a $10,000 grant from the wow. North Carolina Arts Council for the project. Um, and so this is really, a, really, it's, it's kind of growing every year. And this year the community college, Wayne Community College Foundation came to us um, a few months ago and said, listen, you know, this is such a great project and right. we would love to be a part of it and do some programming at the college as well. Oh, wow. So yeah, we have um, the whole month of October, actually yeah, starting September. So yeah, so they all can around see. the community. Starting September 30th, we have events. I do this um, all, you know, at the college, uh, that's the first event that will take place at the community college at Moffitt Auditorium, mm -hmm. and that's um, Dr. Steven Anderson, who, fabulous jazz pianist, um, uh, professor at UNC Chapel Hill, and um, just throughout the month, all kinds of things. Uh, I think in total there are 10 events, and then wow. um, Jazz on George, which is the 26th of October from 1 to 6. So. Um, we're very excited about this project. Um, all of the events are free and open to the public. And Say that one more time. Everything <laughs> is free and everyone is welcome. How um, about that? Yeah, so we're, we're very excited about, about this year's event. Um, we have... So we have the three events that are going to be taking place at the college. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to kind of cheat and look at this poster so I don't mess anything up. <laughs> Um, we'll be doing on October 4th, the Arts Council in conjunction with our first Friday. Um, we also have a little fundraiser that we do um, that is called Mystery Masterpieces. It's, I've been seeing yes, that. It's, yes, it's, it's really fun. It, it's um, an interesting little event and everybody loves it. Um, it's our second year doing it. Uh, but we'll also have a performance of um, jazz musician Willie Dupree. He plays the saxophone. Really, really talented guy. Uh, and then, let's see, on... Um, we have also uh, in October, on October 10th, and then on the 23rd, um, we have open, or the 24th, I'm sorry, we have open mic night, which is um, something we just started a few months ago. It's becoming very popular. I'm sure, um, the more that word is getting out. Yeah, yeah, so that's kind of a celebration of the, you know, the whole idea of improvisation, which is a big part of jazz music. Uh, and then, um, let's see, on October, 14th, the college will be hosting Bill Myers and the Monitors, and Bill Myers is really a pivotal player in um, the African American Music Heritage Trail project that you'll be hearing more about in the mm -hmm. next couple months. Uh, just another incredible group of musicians with just extremely, just wonderful backgrounds. You, you just can't, I mean... The people that they've played with and worked with is just amazing. People so, really just need to, to have a conversation with them and find yeah, out exactly where they've been they and what tell, they've done. And they tell great stories and then they play great music and, and so it's you know wonderful combination. I love that, I, that combination of storytelling and then also enhancing it with the music. Well all of these events, if people today don't, maybe don't have a pen and paper and can't mm -hmm. write them all down, where can they go if they want to see when and where and exactly what's mm -hmm. going on for our They folks? can go to the Arts Council's website, mm -hmm. www.artsinwayne.org, um, or they can give us a call at 919-736-3300. <laughs> Um, and the, all of the events will be posted on the website today. We actually were okay. getting ready to do it before I came over here, and our phones are down, so uh -oh. <laughs> on our internet. So, uh -oh. um, but so yes, everything will be up there. If anybody ever has a question about um, any of the events or needs a little bit more background, um, you know, we're always glad to talk to them. But we're gonna right. we'll have pretty good descriptions on our website as well. Well, as I'm looking at your poster, I see a little jazz on George yes. logo over here. That's our new Can logo. Can you tell me about that? The DGDC did a contest this year, oh. um, and a uh, number of people submitted a new logo oh, for Jazz on George, and and this is it. Um, and Fabulous. we're really excited. Something new, um, oh, get it right. kind of, you know. Yeah, different, Just unique. different, yeah, I really like it. That was so, a local person that submitted yes. that, mm -hmm. yes. So, and then, of course, you know, Jazz on George is one of my favorite things. I just love that event. Um, and That's October 26th. Yes, that's October 26th, and that's going to be a fabulous day. Um, we have uh, 
Donald Thompson band playing, we have Nicholas Cole um, playing, and we have Free Flow, which is a really great jazz group um, based out of Raleigh, but uh, a couple of the musicians are from Wayne County yes, and Yes, I recognize some names. So we're really excited about that. And on that day, we'll have art activities, we'll have food, we'll have uh, you know all kinds of stuff. Uh, we're going to have uh, pumpkin carving since we're coming oh, right yes. up before Halloween. Yes. We'll have so, a, a vendor there that'll be selling pumpkins, and then we'll have a whole table set up so people can... You Make know, creative. Adults, kids, whoever can come and oh, carve their pumpkins and fun, leave the mess downtown and, yeah. and um, we'll clean it all up and then they can take their nice lovely carved pumpkin home. And yeah. you, and you all get more and more creative with every event. <laughs> we never know what all is going to be offered. We to. try to mix it up a yeah. little and, and add some different stuff. So um, just going to be a really great day and, and uh, you know. I'm, I'm really excited about it. So the entire month of October mm -hmm. is, is focused on jazz. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we'll have jazz events throughout our community. Oh my goodness, almost every week. Yes, I something. think, yes, there is. There really is. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, it is a <laughs> but lot. But that's good. I mean, that's something for everybody. And you know, if you haven't stepped foot yet in the Arts Council right downtown <laughs> here in Goldsboro, you need to check it out. It's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Lively full of events and things happening, a lot of local artists showcasing what people here in our community yes. can do, have done, will continue to mm -hmm. do. Give them the address, if you will, Sarah. We are located at 102 North John Street, and we're right on the corner of John Street and Walnut Street. That's right. Um, and you really can't miss it. We've got colorful flags. We've got a um, Hamlet the Pig, Hamlet is, the out pig is out in the front. Um, <laughs> right across from Family Shoe Store. Yes, right and we've got corner. four murals out there of animals. So um, you can't, it's really kind of stands out like, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if you see art, you know you're close by the Arts Council. That's right. They welcome you to stop by mm -hmm. anytime. They're mm -hmm. open every day. Yes. Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday. Um, Monday through Wednesday, we're open 9 to 5. Um, Thursday and Friday, we're open 9 to 7. And Saturday, we're open 4 to 7. So, There you go. Yeah. You can't beat that. Stop by. Give them a look. Talk to them. Find out what all's happening. Upstairs, there's all kinds of studios that local artists work in every day mm -hmm. and showcase what they have to offer to our That's community. Right. So love to have you stop by the Arts Council. You don't want to miss it. That is definitely a destination in our community. Well, Sarah, thank you for thank what you. you do. Come and give us updates. Don't forget the fall jazz gumbo the whole month of October. We want to see you there. And that's what's happening at the Arts Council of Lane County. <music>what an interesting set of interviews we've had so yes, far indeed. today. Just absolutely great. Looking so much uh, forward to the fair. We appreciate Eddie Pitzer and, That's and right. in fact, we appreciate all the people that come in to us and talk to us here in the studios. Yes, and by we the do. Way, if you want to see that uh, interview again or if you missed part of the program today and you want to go back and see it again, you can do that at noon today and then again at 5.30 this evening. That's right. And we do want to say thank you to all these individuals from across our community that continue to come in, share information with you all that's happening throughout our community, because this is a way for you to stay informed and know what's happening, and that's what we're here to do. That's right, exactly, Wayne? That is exactly right. Just in case you missed part of the program, 5.30 this noon, 5.30, and again at some other time during the evening. But I want to mention also that uh, next week is the 1st of October, next mm -hmm. Tuesday. And being the first Tuesday of the month, that means the Wayne County Commissioners will have their monthly, uh, their meeting. The first meeting of the next month will be on October 1st. It begins at 8 o'clock with a briefing on the fourth floor of the Wayne County Courthouse. And then their regular meeting will start at 9 a.m. That's right. All right. And then City Council, of course, will be October the 7th. 5 o'clock, we'll have our regular work session, and then at 7 o'clock, we'll have our regularly scheduled meeting in City Council Chambers. Oh, Love right. to have you join us. Love to. That's yeah. right. Did you know that as a child, Jim Carrey, yes. funny man Jim Carrey, mm -hmm. actually wore tap shoes to bed. <laughs> he did. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> this is true. He wore tap shoes to bed just in case his parents needed cheering up oh, my in the goodness. middle of the night. Already, as a child, he was thinking about ways to make people make happy people and laugh. laugh and happy. Yeah, he's a character, isn't he? Oh yeah, he Characters is a character. Are worth, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> uh, on Monday, September the thirtieth, at seven o'clock p.m. at Wayne Community College in the Moffat Auditorium, the Wayne Community College Foundation of the Arts and the Arts Council of Wayne County, the DGDC, all are partnering together. 
and they're going to offer a menu of jazz music. Oh, man. Jazz oh, music. Man. It's going to oh. kick off for the month of October, oh, and it's kicking off on September the 30th. Let's see. Wayne Community College, Moffitt Auditorium. I don't know how much the tickets are. I don't have that in front of me. But that is the first event that's going to be kicking off for us to really celebrate what jazz music is all about. And we'd love to see you there if you're interested. All of rent. Mm. All events are free to the public. Free. Sometimes it just don't come out. I know. Well, that's all right. That's okay. Free to the public. You don't get any better than that. That's right. Free to the public. Uh, an evening of jazz. Talking jazz with Dr. Stephen Anderson. That's on the 30th. And all month of October now, every weekend and sometimes some nights during the week, they're going to have different jazz things popping all over our community. So oh. you need to really stay tuned. Oh, that is great. I love jazz. That's right. Yeah. Of course, we always have our traditional jazz on George. Yeah. Do you have a particular kind of jazz that you like? Um, I like a little bit of all of it. I really yeah. enjoy the old traditional jazz, yeah. the soulful oh, yeah. jazz. Oh, I really yeah. love that. Yeah. Um, but you know, now we've got so many new artists that are bringing t jazz and they're changing it up mm -hmm. a bit and they're really taking it to today's style music yeah. and I enjoy that as well. You know, it, uh, it, there's a lot to be said about that as well, but I like the, the old, I like everything I from, uh, gee whiz, ragtime all oh, the way yeah. up. Yeah. Me too, all love it. it. Yeah. Well, I believe. Are we out of time? I believe we are. Son of a gun. <laughs> it okay. happens. <laughs> well, what's going on uh, tomorrow's program? Let's Thursday. See. Who do we have on Thursday? Tomorrow we have Jessica in. Jessica Strickland's going to be with right. us. We're going to talk about uh, all kinds of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. From Wayne. Cooperative Extension there Service. There you That's go. Tell right. them all about it. <laughs> and then LaShawn Moore is in. And we're going to talk about uh, with, uh, with Sean about the uh, Veterans <laughs> Services Office of there. Of course and we are. And a recent uh, meeting. Uh, vision, uh, veterans visionary, uh, vis visionary vet. Anyway, tune in tomorrow to find out what I'm trying to say. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much for being with us today on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Until tomorrow, I'm Kim Best. And I'm Wayne Alley. And this is what's happening in your community. That's exactly right.